became a common delicious candy enjoyed by millions of people every day actually caused you to have a limp penis and poor erections? Shockingly, the answer is yes. In this video, I'll expose the little-known dark secret of a sweet candy that so many people love. I'll explain how a tasty sugar candy that you probably have eaten before horrified doctors who found that it can cause men to have weak erections and a soft penis. Welcome to the Cure.Expert Expert channel. Cure.Expert Expert is a California Medical Board registered telehealth clinic focused on men's health. Knowledge is provided by licensed U.S. physician, Dr. John Wu, MD. I'm Cure Expert Science Analyst and your host, Eileen. Before we start, all information in this video is for educational purpose only, not to be used as medical advice. If you are curious, please talk with your doctors to see if any presented information is suitable for your situation. So what is this candy? Well, it's a candy well loved since ancient times in Europe and the Middle East. Back then, it's just a dry stick. You chew it and it tastes so sugary. Traditionally, in Northern European countries like the Netherlands, Denmark, and Finland, they add salt to it to make a salty sweet candy drop. But nowadays, because it is natural and is 50 times sweeter than sugar, it's very widely used all over the world in all kinds of candies and bottled drinks and even on cigarettes too. Scientifically, it is known as Glyceriza glabra. You probably know it just as licorice. Some of you might say, What? Are you making this up? How can a candy give you erectile dysfunction? Unfortunately, it's been proven by scientists to be true. According to a 1999 research experiment published in the New England Journal of Medicine, a group of men, aged 22 to 24 years old, took 7 grams of a licorice candy every day for 7 days. Their testosterone was measured before and after the 7 days. The researchers were shocked when the results came back. Before the experiment, the men's testosterone was on average 740, but on day 7, it dropped to 484. That's a drop of about 35%. That's huge! In 2003, these same researchers redid their study but with more men and reported that the average decrease in testosterone after one week was 26%, which is still a big drop. Okay, some of you might still be skeptical and might argue that these studies were done by just one group of researchers. What about other researchers? What do they say? Well, you've got a point there. So I went and looked up what other medical researchers said. According to these experts from the Department of Endocrinology from King College Hospital in the UK, licorice has plant-like estrogen effects and also reduces testosterone levels. And these Italian researchers in this medical article recommended that you take a lot of licorice in order to reduce your levels of testosterone and boost your body level of the female hormone estrogen. Well, their advice is for women, but you get the idea. So you might ask, how exactly would licorice decrease testosterone that much? It turns out that the active ingredient in licorice is called glycerizic acid, aka glycerizin, which interferes with the enzymes in your body that convert other hormones to testosterone. To put it in simple terms, it blocks your body from making testosterone. That's why the testosterone level can become so low if you eat too much liquors for too long. So why then would a decrease in testosterone lead to erectile dysfunction? 
How does that work? The reason, according to many medical experts, is that a reduction in testosterone significantly lessens your sex drive and makes your penis not as sensitive. So you end up having sex just once a month or even once a year. Because, one, you don't really feel like it. And two, your penis doesn't get that much pleasure from sex anymore. You cannot fix this by taking Viagra or Cialis or other ED drugs because this type of erectile dysfunction has nothing to do with cardiovascular problems. Low testosterone is a huge problem experienced by many middle-aged and older men. Besides penis problems, your muscle volume also shrinks and you find that you don't have the strength or endurance to enjoy a lot of physical activities. Even for younger men, if their testosterone levels plunge too much, it can really wreck their sex life. But don't panic just yet. You don't know if you really have low testosterone until you go and see a doctor and get a blood test. So what can you do to prevent this problem? Well, the obvious thing to do is to avoid eating candy that contains licorice. It's not just candy though. Lots of sweet bottle drinks contain licorice. They also put it on some cigarettes too, by the way. You should pay attention to the ingredient label on the packaging. Of course, the level of licorice in these products will vary. So some of them will not contain a lot of licorice you will have to judge for yourself. Also, the good thing is that there are medical and non-medical ways to fix this problem. For medical solutions, please stay tuned because we will talk more about it in future episodes. But if you want to know more about non-medical testosterone boosters right now, I already did a video on it. So if you are interested, please see my video on four scientifically proven ways on how to increase testosterone naturally. I hope you guys found this video to be educational and interesting. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. See you next time.